Today Israel confirmed that Yahya Sinwar, the leader of Hamas, is dead. And justice has been served. And the United States, Israel, and the entire world are better off as a result. Sinwar was responsible for the killing of thousands of innocent people, including the victims of October 7th and hostages killed in Gaza. He had American blood on his hands. Today, I can only hope that the families of the victims of Hamas feel a sense and measure of relief. Sinwar was the mastermind of October 7th, the deadliest day for the Jewish people since the Holocaust. A terrorist attack that killed 1,200 innocent people and included horrific sexual violence and more than 250 hostages taken into Gaza, including seven Americans, living and deceased, who remain in captivity. A terrorist attack that triggered a devastating war in Gaza, a war that has led to unconscionable suffering of many innocent Palestinians and greater instability throughout the Middle East. In the past year, American special operations and intelligence personnel have worked closely with their Israeli counterparts to locate and track Sinwar and other Hamas leaders. And I commend their work. And I will say, to any terrorist who kills Americans, threatens the American people, or threatens our troops or our interests, know this, we will always bring you to justice. Israel has a right to defend itself, and the threat Hamas poses to Israel must be eliminated. Today, there is clear progress toward that goal. Hamas is decimated, and its leadership is eliminated. This moment gives us an opportunity to finally end the war in Gaza. And it must end such that Israel is secure, the hostages are released, the suffering in Gaza ends, and the Palestinian people can realize their right to dignity, security, freedom, and self-determination. And it is time for the day after to begin without Hamas in power. We will not give up on these goals, and I will always work to create a future of peace, dignity, and security for all.